Hey there everyone, Mark here from Promevo, your Google Premier partner, and we're back with another episode as your digital Google Glosser. As always, leave a like, subscribe, and check back every week for new videos. On today's episode, we're talking about sandboxing. And no, I do not mean building Chrome castles in the sand. With Chrome OS, but more importantly, all Google Chrome browsers, sandboxing is the process of running individual websites and web applications as their own independent processes. Think of it like a layer of protection that helps guard against phishing and malware so you can spend less time worrying about your online security and more time doing what you want to do. Sandboxing is enabled by default in all Google Chrome browsers, a benefit of using the Chrome OS. And because of that, if security threats such as viruses or other harmful code occur, they'll be restricted to the website or application that they originated in, preventing further damage to your browser and your computer. Just simply close the process and you're done. But sandboxing doesn't end there. Another huge benefit of sandboxing within Google Chrome is how some of the most popular web plugins are handled. One of the most used web plugins is Adobe Flash Player, used for a plethora of online material like videos and browser games. Another popular use of web plugins is the ability to view PDF documents online. Because these are features that have become synonymous with the internet, plugins like these are frequently downloaded and installed in our browsers and in turn our machines. But something that doesn't occur frequently are the updates for said plugins. Instead, a new version is released and is downloaded just like before. In turn, out-of-date plugins can create known security vulnerabilities, putting you as a user at a high security risk. That's why Adobe Flash and PDF functionality is part of sandboxing with Google Chrome, including its automatic updates to ensure that you have the newest software available. And there you have it, folks. Do you have any more questions about your Google Life journey? You can reach out to customer service at promevo.com, drop a comment below, or put your request into our Google form located conveniently in the additional info section below. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time for another episode as your digital Google glossary.